Hey guys, so I am in Tulsa. It's super humid here. Why is it so humid? I was not expecting Oklahoma to be this humid. My hair is so frizzy. Oh. So I didn't make any special plans for this trip to be very honest with you guys. I know that Oklahoma is known for the food, <laughs> the barbecue, fried, but delicious food. What else was there? Chili. I heard Oklahoma was known for chili. I'll be trying those things out and, you know, getting some beers, some drinks. So that'll be fun. So good morning. Today is day two. So I'm actually here for a business trip, but might as well just have some fun since I have some time for myself. But honestly, there really ain't that much to do here. <laughs> At least things I wanted to check out and try out, there's really not much to do. So what I'll probably do for this trip, I'm just gonna be showing you guys brewery tour. <laughs> That's what I'll probably do. <laughs> so yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> back from my business trip from Tulsa, Oklahoma. It was so, so nice. Well, other than the weather, but we'll ignore that factor. The drinks were fabulous, I have to say. I'm a dark beer drinker, and I was pretty impressed. Especially in the summer, there's really not that many dark drinks, and especially good ones too. But Tulsa, Oklahoma, I mean, you guys, or they, really impressed me. So you're probably asking, what about the food, Kim? Yes, I know. I was looking so forward to the food, but I didn't really... I mean, you guys have to consider that this is a business trip, so I didn't really have time to look up all the restaurants that I want to go to, which I will do next time I go there and other trips I have in the future. But just to mention these restaurants that I went to, they were awesome, fabulous as well. They didn't have what I was looking for. For example, I was looking for chili, barbecue, and a lot of good, good fried stuff. <laughs> I did have one fried food and it was so good. I haven't had this forever. A really good one too. Hush puppy. Guys, I recommend you to get some good hush puppies there. So I just only went to like few restaurants, but two restaurants that I really, really enjoyed. One of them is called Bird and Bottle. The other one is called White River Fish Market. It was good. That's actually where I tried the Hush Puppy too. And let's see, what did I try? I also tried, ooh, they had jambalaya. Dude, that jambalaya was good. So I had jambalaya. I had some... I don't know what it was actually. <laughs> I know it was alligator, but I don't know what kind of alligator it was, but it was really good. I promise you, it was so good. And then the bird and bottle, now their food was fabulous as well. My head still hurts, and maybe it's because I've been living in the West Coast for too long, but their drinks were so affordable. Like it was, it was crazy. I think it was like, I, I, I think I'm getting the, the prices wrong, but it was like $10 for the cocktails. It was like an eight dollars for the martini i don't remember but it was so good like i i tried the cocktails i really want to try the martini next time but check out those two places if you guys are around there yeah next time when i go there i will definitely be sure to try to find some places that, that have those food that you got i mean they're famous for you know i really also wanted to try fry pie i always wonder how that tastes like but it sounds so good <laughs> If you guys are dark drinkers or you guys just want to try something new, Tulsa is definitely the place. I was very impressed. And you know what's so funny? The last day, my colleague told me 
to check out North of Oklahoma to see a Cherokee history museum. Yo, I expected to know about this the days when I was free. You don't tell me the day when I'm about to leave. <laughs> that doesn't work like that. Hey, next time if I go to Tulsa, I'll definitely check out more food, the history museum. <laughs> If I go up north and I'm gonna go drinking again. <laughs> well, anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There wasn't really much to do in Oklahoma unless I missed something, which most likely that's highly possible. So, anywho, so I'm gonna make sure to put the restaurant's names on the description down below for you guys to see and check out. That includes all the breweries as well that I went to. But if there are any other places that you guys want me to check out or visit in Tulsa, Oklahoma, Please be sure to comment. I would love to know and I would love to go there again knowing all those information. <laughs> Hope you had fun. Be sure to comment, subscribe, and like. Thank you.